last time we spent the week or a few days at Kettle Cove basically just hanging out enjoying the last few rays of summer sun having a barbecue and some margaritas on this episode of escape we're basically just getting the boat ready for our trip south any last projects we still have left to install this is where we spend a few weeks taking care of all those projects So before I left, one of the last things I want to do is significantly upgrade the electrical system on the boat. And we're switching to gel batteries. Headed to Marblehead Trading Company. We got to pull the boat out. We're gonna do a short haul. Uh, make sure everything is in order before we head south. 
we're having the surveyor meet us there at the boat yard. The surveyor is going to go through the whole boat for us and let us know what's good for our insurance company. And we also are having a name put on. There's a lot going on. This is generally what you don't want to see. That's a little close for my comfort. I mean, I'm all about close, but hey, I couldn't even put the dinghy through there. Josh, you ever done this before? I have not. <laughs> well, that, that makes two of you. Hop down. Right come on, Nation. No, come on. You Jump on it. the platform. Go. Down. You'll be fine. Go. go. <laughs> Nation. Jump down. Go ahead. Jump down. You're not going this way. You're going that way. <laughs> Dog likes to cut. <laughs> This is when I get to be too much. So I'm cutting two inch strips of one inch thick poly to go under the radar arch stand. Wish me luck. All right, so I cut these one inch pieces of poly into two inch strips and I mounted them like so. Height as 
the black bar that goes around the boat. And I leveled it out. And I think it's going to be okay. So you have one bolt that goes through the actual rail, which is the sturdiest part of the boat. And So I just ordered the jack lines from the fender and show you what it comes with. With a high output alternator and a new serpentine belt kit. This is the alternator pulley. It's dirty. Whoa, it's brand new. Ding. So you got some canned food here. Chicken noodle, bunch of corn, green beans, some chili, and some beans. This is only half of it. Beans. That's like last resort protein. Guys, where are we going? Going to the moon. Woo! What a trip to the moon! Well, I think we're going to Portsmouth or something. Portsmouth. I think we visited every West Marine on the fucking East Coast. Yeah. They just won't tell us where the warehouse is. We found out that West Marine has one inch stainless steel tubing. But they only carry about one in stock. <laughs> because they suck. Yeah, not nice. So now we have to drive to Portsmouth. Road trip for a big ocean voyage. <laughs> I hope they have it in stock. That was a Kittery Bay. So, Josh, were we successful? I believe so. I think we were. I think we did just fine. Four stainless steel poles, some six gauge wire. 30 amp fuse, a fuse block, a bunch of butt connectors, some ring terminals, a New Hampshire State Trooper. <laughs> yeah, they suck. That's about it. Well, on the way back, now we gotta go and put it all together. Oh, look, there's a New Hampshire State Trooper on our side. Oh, great. Oh, great. Fantastic. Taking these old batteries, these new gel batteries. I don't know if they're gonna fit yet. Probably not.
hurt me too. <laughs> but, 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 but please don't hurt me. Damn, just peeling back like a shirt on cramp. Birds are here. Yeah. I have a duty, a mission. I'm sitting here to accomplish a goal. On the next episode of Escape, we finish up with the last of the projects, which is basically just to mount the radar and snake the wire down through the mast. And then we have to wait out a storm. Once the storm passes, we're ready to set sail and head south. Escape.com